Okay. Where are we at today? Okay. It's we are, pretty outside. It's really nice. We're at Sanders Ferry Park <coughs> in Hendersonville. It's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> On it's the pretty. lake. You might be able to see the lake in the background there. Yeah, I think we'll take the drone up in a minute and yeah. show them some of the oh, aerial yeah. pictures of that. Here we are at the end of February and uh, see what the temperature is outside. I think it's about 70 degrees. Let's see. Oh, I was wrong. 60. Yeah. Feels like 70. Well. What do you think the housing market's going to do? You know, it's been kind of crazy here lately, so. It's gotten a lot busier in the last few weeks, I think. I think people have kind of, I don't want to say given up on the rates changing. They have come down some, but um, we've seen a lot of movement. You've had several go under contract just in the last week, some of your listings. And we've got people coming out of the woodwork buying homes too and also wanting to list. But um, I think it's going to pick up real quick here. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, why do you think that is? I mean, nothing has really changed over the past year as far as interest rates. Um, but all of a sudden we're seeing some people start moving. Do at the time of year too. Yeah, people are be. fixing to move. I mean, if you think you know, somebody that starts looking now, so you're almost the beginning of March, they're gonna be in their next house if they started today, probably, uh, what do you say, first of May, if it's a 60 day closing, if they found something they wanted today, and that's like, you know, towards the end of the school year, and then they got the whole summer to like, get in their house and decorate it and do all the things they want and make it their own and, you know, if they're selling, you know, they're going to get probably, I would think, a higher amount maybe than selling in the wintertime. I could be wrong, but I know everybody just gets that feeling, the spring fever, yeah. let's go out and buy and do and make. and People like to move. When they're done. Yeah. I don't know. I think people are starting to calm down a little bit over the interest rates. Uh, we're not seeing yeah. so much of it on the news. It hadn't changed a whole lot, but it's not fluctuating and scaring people. It seems like every time there's a little change in it, people get scared and I don't yeah. blame them for that. You don't ever know what direction it's gonna go. Uh, I think we're pretty stabilized right now. So you're more the numbers guy and I'm more the emotional side of things. Yeah. You, you're the investment guy. <laughs> she really likes the, yeah. the prettiness of a house and stuff. And yeah, well, that's kind of a woman's touch thing. <laughs> I guess. We're still seeing, you know, high numbers on houses. Um, yeah. You know, everybody just kind of thought the market was going to crash. I don't see anything that's for telling that the market's going to crash. Um, we've seen a slowdown a little bit, but the numbers on the houses have stayed pretty relevantly the same. Um, the price point, anyways. You know, you're still in that <coughs> upper 100s, 180, 190 dollars a square foot on most homes. Uh, some of them are seeing going for the 250 mark. Uh, they're really nice or they have a lot of acreage with them. Well, of course, uh, that's relative to the size of the homes too. That's how they figure in square footage. Yes. But do you want to go back to where we are right now? <laughs> so we're kind of taking a break from everything, getting away from people. You know, <laughs> even as crazy as Hendersonville is, there's still some awesome parks that you can come out here and get away from stuff. That's, I know a lot of times me and Cassie like to grab us some lunch and head up to the park and you know, get away from people. And that's kind of what we've done today. So yeah. it's pretty out here and the sky's blue. It ain't raining, it ain't snowing. And and you mentioned lunch, but we had breakfast at the new Kiki's. Yeah. Kiki's, yeah, Kiki's breakfast. Kiki's. And they yeah. serve breakfast and lunch, I believe, it not was, dinner, but it was, it was, it was really very good. good. Our server yeah. was super awesome too. Yeah. Um, Y'all have to try that out. She gets tired of going to the Red Rooster and eating. <coughs> no, I don't. It just happens to be like 50 feet away from where we live, pretty much. I like the Red Rooster. Okay. So let's go back to, again to Sanders Ferry Park. That's where we're at right okay. now here in Hendersonville. There's several peninsulas here, um, you know, that go through Hendersonville. Mount Juliet, Wilson County is technically right there across the lake from us. If they ever build a a bridge across through there, that would be kind of awesome. Cause there's some neat stuff over there too. But um, as far as this park is concerned, it's a pretty big park, it's 70 acres. Um, they got picnic shelters with grills. I think there's a couple with fireplaces. They've got 
playground sites. Um, disc golf. Yeah, we've seen a lot of people play disc golf. Yeah, we've seen a lot of people playing that, and uh, been watching some people ride their bikes around the big loop out here. Um, and they also have that RC field where you fly the model airplanes over there. Yeah, and the little uh, fishing pier and, and boat ramp is right over here as well. It looks like like a lot of really good shore fishing around through here too. Yeah. And, I've lived in Sumner County my whole life and didn't know this park even existed until I don't know, a couple of months ago. Uh, this is a beautiful area right here though. It's it's real pretty. You're surrounded by water on you know all three sides. Um, the couple of times that we've been out here, there's not hardly been anybody here. If I ain't mistaken, you can rent these pavilions and stuff. Yeah, well, like what we're sitting in here for the parties or, or whatever you want. Yeah, and there's a really big one over here by the water that's, it says it seats like 60, 75 people. I guess I've seen people get married over there. So I guess you can do little events and stuff and you're right there on the water or the water's right behind you, so. Really nice boat dock down yeah. here too. Um, it's not too steep and great parking. That's usually a factor to consider when, you, when you're when you going into a river, kind of lake, a call of Hickory Lake. Lake, it's more or less a river, but. Yeah. It's not real steep, super wide. Uh, not sure how deep the water is right off the dock. I mean, there's we see there, house there's boats. channels because people go off, you know, Old Hickory Lake on, on into yep. the uh, the river and, and down across the riverfront in Nashville. So yeah. They have to go through that big lock and dam. <coughs> so it has to be pretty deep for those bigger yeah. boats. Boats yeah. over the river here. Yeah. The yacht. Well, do you want to wrap it up, babe? And Yeah. Um, <laughs> or I maybe guess. not. Speaking of fishing, maybe we'll get out and do some of that. Like, poles to yeah, rest, didn't want to get everything out. And yeah. That's a hassle to get the tackle boxes and stuff out. And once we have them out, we keep them yeah. out all summer long, but yeah. we do a whole lot of 30 minute hour long fishing trips. Yeah, the nature and gives you a chance to un unwind from all the things. and Gets the kids games for a little uh, while. Yeah. Yep. And everybody tends to get along when Florida. Uh, yeah, until they got to take fish off or bait a yeah. hook or somebody's like, line gets tangled up and another one gets mad. <laughs> and that, hey, that's part of it. It's what makes it fun. If you haven't been to any of our parks and stuff in Summer County in general, but uh, more especially if, if you've never been on this end of Hendersonville and come out here and took a look at this park and enjoy the day out here, do yourself a favor and set aside a day. Get away from the hustle and bustle of everything. Yeah. I'll get you a sub and Yeah, you're come six out. minutes away from Main Street over here. Yeah. There's absolutely no nobody around here. Uh, yeah. Of course, it's one o'clock or so on Friday. And we've ever been out here, there hadn't been a handful of people. Yeah. So come out and enjoy one of the parks. And uh, as high as everything else is, this is completely free to do. And who are we? Shane and Cassie, Legendary Realty Group. Yeah, you and said it, just fine. Okay, sounds good. All right, we'll talk to y'all later. No, we'll see y'all later. <laughs>